Hi, my name is Rohan and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. From your perspective, how important is mentorship for women in STEM? And what advice would you give to both the mentors and the mentees to make the relationship more valuable and worthwhile? Rohan, this is critical. Mentorship in, in a STEM career is critical. And one thing I will say is I have had extraordinary mentors throughout my career, and many of them. In fact, most of them have not been women. What I really want to emphasize is that you, you have to get different things from different mentors, but in a really successful mentor-mentee relationship, the mentee comes motivated. It is not the mentor's responsibility to pull the mentee along, it's the mentee's responsibility to come really motivated with a lot done. And I, I, I have always, as a mentor myself, I always felt like I got more out of the mentorship experience than my mentee ever did. And that is really because I learned just as much from them as they do from me. So I, I think from a mentor's perspective, one of the best things you can do is just make sure that you treat your mentee's success as your own. To have a successful podium presentation from one of your mentees or a grant awarded or um, promotion is just as exciting for me as it is for them. Hi, I'm Jackie Holt from Newton, Massachusetts, and I attend Newton South High School. Dr. Walensky, you are someone who inspires the next generation of female scientists, public health experts, and medical professionals. Is there someone you look up to who still inspires you in your career today or go to for advice and feedback? Um, Jackie, I still go to a lot of people for advice and feedback. You know, um, some of the deepest inspiration that I get is not from big public figures that um, one might expect, but really from my patients, things that my patients have taught me, and then really back to wise people who have helped me throughout my career. And generally when I'm at a crossroads, I talk to a lot of people, and I remain in touch with a lot of people, so I will call people from college, I'll call people from medical school and say, you know, this one's a tough situation. How would you navigate this? So there are many people I continue to reach out to and I would encourage everyone to keep those bridges because that network will be invaluable to you in the years ahead.